What's going on, guys? Sorry, wait, okay. What's going on, guys? It's Hardy Films here, and today is the top 10 top rated 2017 movies. Not 2018, because you know, it is 2018, but no movies have come out yet in 2018. But, um, one is coming up I really want to see. It's called the 1718 The Pairs or the 1517 The Pairs, something like that. And it looks really interesting, so I'm going to watch that. But for now on, every single video, I'll be doing the quote of the day. And today's quote of the day is, Happiness is found when you stop comparing yourself to others. That is true. If you compare yourself to some, say, you're like, um, you don't got a lot of muscle, and you compare yourself to like a bodybuilder, like The Rock or something, of course you're going to look down at yourself. So don't look at someone like, like that. As an athlete, you know, but um, today we're going to. Sorry, I gotta switch hands, but today I'm gonna show you guys the top 10 top rated 2017 movies, and let's get it started. Boom. First one we got here is Get Out, that is a top rated movie. It's got four and a half stars out of five, 99% Rotten Tomatoes, what? 84% Metacritic, oh, it's like crit critic stuff. So we got a 99% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Got an 84% rating on Metacritic or something like that. And, um. Sorry, guys, I just sneezed, but. Um. So, that's pretty much it. It is a 2017 mystery thriller, 1 hour, 44 minutes. I can tell you guys what it's basically, basically about. So. Basically, it's about this black guy, the race, but a black guy that is dating a white girl, and the white girl brings the black guy to her family, and um, basically they're trying to trap him. They're trying to make them, make him their slave, and he, it's crazy. So if you guys have not watched it, try it. It is an amazing movie. I've seen it. It's a really good movie. And um, on to the next one. This one I have not seen. Wonder Woman. Alright, let's Ron Tomatoes got a ninety-two percent rating, ninety percent liked this movie on Google users. Um don't know really what it's about because I've not seen this one, but there's a little reading right here. Let's try to get as close as possible so I can see it. it. Says before she was Wonder Woman. Sorry guys. Gal got it. She was Diana, Princess of the Amazons. Trained to be an unconquerable warrior, raised on a sheltered island paradise, Diana meets an American pilot, Chris Pine, who tells her about the massive conflict that's raging in the outside world, convinced that she can stop the threat. Diana leaves her home for the first time, fighting alongside men in a war to end all wars. She finally discovers her full powers and true destiny. That was released this year as a fantasy, science fiction, film. But it's not, it doesn't look like it's too bad of a movie, but um, on to the next one. Boom, the next one we got the Star Wars Last Jedi. Let's go down a little bit. 2017 fantasy, science fiction, film, 2 hours, 35 minutes, 91%. What's going on, guys? Let me contact my brother. 91% Rotten Tomatoes. 75% um, like this movie on Google. I've not seen it. I don't think I don't like really Star Wars in general. So you know. Okay, let's let's find out what it's about. It says. Sorry, guys. Luke Skywalker, peaceful and solitary existence, gets unpend unpended when he encounters Rey, a young woman who shows strong signs of the Force. Her desire to learn the ways of the Jedi forces Luke to make a decision that changes their lives forever. Meanwhile, Kylo Ren and General Hux led the First Order in an all-out assault sorry guys, against Leia and the Resistance for Supremacy of the Galaxy. What? Well, looks like a lot of people like this movie, I guess. I'm, I'm not interested in... Where's my mouth? There it is. Okay. I'm not interested in Star Wars movies. I've not seen it, but um, on to the next. This one I've also not seen. I looked up Logan Gus the movie and Logan Ball, you know, pops up and everything. I'm not going to get into that, but Logan rated R 2017 drama science fiction film, 2 hour 21 minutes, 
93% in Rotten Tomatoes. 93% like this movie. Um, I've never seen this either. People have rated it good, I guess. It's got four stars. All right. In the near future, a, we a weary Logan cares for, I guess, for an ailing Professor X at a remote outpost on the Mexican border. His plan to hide from the outside world gets unpended when he meets a young mutant who is very like him. Logan must now protect the girl and the mouse out there is right. Battle the dark forces that want to capture her. Wow. Wow. Okay, um, box office, 616.8 million USD. On to the next movie. Alright guys, before we continue on, um, I want to say you guys, go check out my vlogging channel, Hardy Films, or Har Hardy Films, Hardy Vlogs. It says BTS, like behind the scenes, but it's not behind the scenes because I changed it and the behind the scenes stuck there for some reason. So I have to wait. I change it too often, so I have to wait a couple months, and then it'll be changed. But, um, basically, I'm going to be doing vlogging on there. I will, doing, I will be doing a vlog on Monday. Every other day, I'll be making a vlog, so on Monday, I'll make a vlog. I didn't do it because I just made my channel on Monday, so I didn't make a video on the first day of my channel being up. But, Monday... Wednesday, Friday, maybe on the weekend, depends on what I'm doing. I will be doing a vlog on this channel probably tomorrow. Um, you guys find out why. Something special, you know. It is on my grandma's birthday, and I'll probably have a vlog up on tomorrow. I'll probably be doing a vlog tomorrow because my grandma's birthday. And well, it was today, so if you're watching Big Mama, that's what I call my grandma. If you're watching, happy birthday to you. She is someone I could not live without because, you know, it's my grandma, my my other grandma, Nana. She is up in heaven right now, but I, she's someone I could not live without because, you know, she's, like, a big part of my life. So, so um, sorry, my sister just walked in, but let's get into the next one. To get back to it, we got the big sick 2017 drama slash romance, two hours, 98% rating on tomatoes, Rotten Tomatoes, 86%. Oh my god, 86% on Metacritic and 84% like this movie. And let's read more about it after I click more. <sighs> Only number five. Alrighty then. Um, Kumail is a Pakistani Pakistani comic who meets an comic who meets an American graduate student named Emily at one of the stand-up shows as the relationship blossoms. He soon becomes worried about what his traditional Muslim parents would think of her. When Emily suddenly comes up down with an illness, leaves her in a coma, Kumail finds himself developing a bond with her deeply concerned mother and father. Wow. So, never seen it, but go check it out, I guess. Next one. Boop. War for the Planet of the Apes, 2017. Science fiction film thriller. 93%, 87%. Um, I've never seen this movie again. Go check it out if you guys want to see it. And um, you guys are, you guys can read it for yourself. I'm gonna leave it here for a minute. Caesar. Next, this one is funny. I've seen parts of it. I've not seen the full movie yet, but we got. 83% Rotten Tomatoes, 91% like this movie. Now I'm going to show you guys. You guys can read it for yourself one more time. And go. Next. Next one is John Wick Chapter 2. My dad has seen this, but I've never seen it. 89% Rotten Tomatoes, 75% on Metacritic. And you guys already know the drill. You guys can read yourselves. There you go. You guys can hear my scissors. I'm just going to talk. Um, Let's see. There you go, guys. Um, One more shout out to my grandma, Big Mama. Thank you for, you know, for kind of being there with me. Like, you're like a really good, I guess, friend to me, a best friend, you know. But me and you and our, my grandpa, Papa, I call him Papa. We're really close. But um, you guys can kind of read that yourself. 
but me and my grandparents are kind of close because they live kind of close, so we're always hanging out with them, and they're super close, so um, I don't know what I would do without them. And um, happy birthday to my grandma, but next. And the next one is Spider-Man Homecoming. I've never seen this. I've seen parts, and it seems pretty funny, so... 2017 fantasy science fiction film, 92% Rotten Tomatoes, 91% like this. And again, you guys know the drill, read on your own. And um, my sister's singing, so if you guys can tolerate the singing in the background, um, yeah. And you guys can also pause it, so next. This is insane how many things I have now. I watched Get Out, and that's pretty much it. Yep, on this list I've only watched Get Out, but it got Coco got 97% rotten on Rotten Tomato Tomatoes, 93% of Google users liked this movie. Um, as again, you guys can kind of watch this your guys self because you know. Because, oh, you guys can also pause this. I'm gonna leave it here for a couple seconds so you guys can do it, but. Um. You guys can um, pause it and watch this. Um, just kind of read it over. And if you guys want to watch it, you guys can watch it. But um, I will see you guys. What am I saying? I'm trying to say the ending, but that'll be it for today. I'm going to do the outro. All right, guys. One more shout out to my grandma. Happy birthday to you, Big Mama, if you're watching this, which you probably will. I'll probably show her. But um, Again, I don't know what I would do if you guys were not here with me. You guys are a big part of my life because you guys live so close. We are always, we are always over there and hanging out with you guys. And I, w I would never be the same without you guys here with me. So, um, have a good birthday. And um, I guess that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.